know what the rarest sloth species is? Do you know where they live? Or what they eat? To answer your first question, it's the pygmy three-toed sloth, or using their scientific name, Bradyopus panamignus. If you want to know what's up with the pygmy three-toed sloths, you've clicked on the right video. This image might be familiar to you. This is Flash from Zootopia. He's a three-toed sloth. Although he's not a pygmy three-toed sloth, he is still a three-toed sloth, which would be a great reference if you didn't know what a sloth looked like. These super cool sloths have fur that is gray and long. Their coarse hair is covered with algae, causing the hair to appear green. This is great camouflage for the sloth, which protects them from predators. Pygmy sloths have a dark stripe around their eyes over a lighter colored browner face. They have very long arms and legs with sharp long claws at the end. These long arms and legs are used to hang from the trees. They're typically 5 to 7 pounds and 19 to 21 inches long. That's a small sloth. This super rare species only lives on one island off the coast of Panama called Escado de Vergado. On this island that is only 1.7 square miles, they stay in the mangrove forest, which only covers about 0.0027% of the island. The sloths stay in the trees their whole life due to predators that lurk on land. They only come down once a week to poop. They will swim if they need to get away from predators, though, and this particular species is actually known for how well they can swim. These sloths are herbivores like most sloths, but they only eat red mangrove leaves, unlike other sloths that will eat any kind of leaf. They don't have incisors to cut their food, so they just smack their lips together to cut the leaves of the tree. This is not good table manners, so you should probably not do this when you eat at home. But since they're solitary animals who live alone, they probably don't have to worry about that anyways. These sloths are nocturnal like almost all other species of sloths, which is one of the main reasons we know so little about them. It could also be that they were only discovered in 2001, which is only 22 years ago. They were discovered by Robert P. Anderson, who studied them at the University of Kansas. Because we only just started to learn about these little slow-moving guys, it is unknown how long they can live, but we do know that most species of sloth can live between 30 and 40 years old. It is thought that about 3 million years ago, they evolved from the two-toed sloths. Before that, they can be traced all the way back to the two giant land sloths called Megalotherium and Megalonox, about 13 million years ago. Megalotherium was about the size of an elephant, and the Megalonox was the size of a pony. That's crazy how small they got. Now let's talk about kittens. No, not these kittens. These kittens! The mother sloth is pregnant with one kitten for about six months, and then will give birth. After that, the kitten will hang on to the mother's abdomen for about five months or until they are mature, which can take up to a year. The baby sloths are also called pups or just babies. This particular species is considered critically endangered due to its population size. They're actually one of the world's most top 10 endangered species, which is very sad. There's an estimate of only 48 left. Their population decline is unknown, but it could be a global warming or just being eaten by jaguars or harpy eagles. Because of such low population, they will sadly cannot be found in any zoo. Their island is protected and you cannot live there or visit, but sadly, some fishermen still hunt them. There are many organizations trying to help them, and I'll leave my favorite in the description box below. Make sure to turn notifications for future videos, hit that like button, and follow my channel. If you want to know what's up with a different animal, leave a comment and it might just be my next video.